the key to getting your curls to clump. My hair needs this, sis. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I have more videos. Shibli and this is Shikai and my channel is all about natural hair and I add a little bit about pregnancy tips and lifestyle but the majority of things is DIY and hair care and healthy hair and how to maintain long healthy hair for curly natural curly hair right Shikai and whoa you grab my hair owie <laughs> I want to say thank you if you're subscribed to my channel and if you're not please do and um, be part of the family um, let's jump right into this video So these are the keys on getting your curls to clump up. Don't you love when your curls stick together? As you see, my hair is so dry and it needs this. And I love using Kinky Curly Knots Today conditioner because it really helps. It goes out, it's, it just has some great slip. So this Kinky Curly Knots Today is what I'm going to start off in my hair right now for my wash day. It's a great pre-poo, so I am definitely going to use the Kinky Curly's Knots today to get this slip, to get my moisture back in my hair, and this leave-in conditioner is a great way to start out your wash day because you want to make for sure before you apply shampoo in your hair, you want to make for sure your hair is fully ready for the shampoo <laughs> get all those tangles and knots out and um, massage that scalp so you can improve hair growth and speed up hair growth it's very important and I'm just getting my hair ready you know for the shampoo basically so kinky curly y'all y'all have to try at least once if you haven't tried it it is really good and no this video is not sponsored it's just kinky curly is just a really great conditioner for detangling um for moisture in my hair it just leaves my hair just bomb so i'm gonna speed up this video so my curls definitely feel a lot better in moisture so i parted my hair in two sections twisted on both sides got a silk scrunchie very important to use silk because it doesn't get tangled and it's very healthier for your hair and i still have the kinky curly in my hair i'm going to let it sit ladies in my hair shaft for at least 30 minutes to an hour and just make sure all the pieces are up there and let this kinky curly leave-in sit now I'm just going to rinse out the Kinky Curly Knots Today Leave-In Conditioner and I'm going to apply this wonderful shampoo now that my hair is fully detangled and now it's moisturized. Apply Shave Moisturizer in Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. It's my favorite shampoo to my scalp you guys directly onto the scalp a small amount can go a long ways I massage my scalp so I can definitely improve and speed up hair growth <laughs> So, and stimulate my hair follicles on my scalp. I never really put it throughout my hair. As you see in all my other videos, I feel like I just want to clean my scalp. My hair is not really that dirty. It'll automatically glide through the hair shaft once water is rinsed over it. And I do rinse it out with like almost room temperature kind of cold water. leave-in conditioner 
Um, my hair is not really that tangled as much and I'm just making for sure I don't do any strong emotions to my hair because then it could get tangled really easily and I this shampoo has slip actually you guys that you can really finger detangle your hair and that's why I do like using this shampoo and it leaves my hair shiny so now that it's all ready and prepped now I'm going to apply the Camille Rose conditioner yeah to my hair and this just really leaves my hair hydrated and it just brings so much shine you know I really focus on the midway to my hair and I apply it all the way to the ends of my hair and this is a really great conditioner um, you can build up on that you know put wherever as much as needed um, the conditioner is like middle it's not thin and it's not thick it's a little bit thicker than kinky curly so that's why I do like using them at the end um, it's not really considering a leave-in conditioner but I use it as a leave-in conditioner it's um, they call it a cluster conditioner I don't know what that would mean because I never really used a cluster conditioner only this one so I really can't compare it to anything but it does have slip and my brush does glide right through my hair shaft very easily with no strand no pulls and this you guys really really helps me get my curls to clump you know um it's the brush using this brush using the method of using two different conditioners on my wash day and not applying so much shampoo and definitely taking the time to leave in a conditioner in your hair you guys it may not be kinky curly but whatever condition you have make sure you leave it in your hair for at least 30 minutes to an hour and don't put your hair in no towel or anything like that put it in some kind of plastic bag or something like that or sit under the dryer and make sure that just really gets deeply in your hair so you can have a full pre poo repair moisturizing you know hair situation going on there you know and that's really going to help everything um I'm really trying to speed up this wash day. Usually my wash days take about 30 minutes uh, when I'm using this amount of conditioner from the beginning to the end. And that's why I always apply conditioner in the beginning of my wash day because it just makes it go much easier and faster. And I haven't washed my hair. It's been almost six days. So I'm really trying to stretch it out longer now that the weather is much colder. So I'm pretty much done with my wash day, you guys. I'm going to rinse this out again with cold water. Rinsing it out with cold water is very important because it will really help um, the frizz. So if your hair frizzes up like mine, you know, um, the curl pattern is like more of a 3B, 3C. And it's, you know, definitely want to rinse it out with cold water. Um, I've been doing really well with the shedding of my hair, you guys. So this is the minimum shedding. Um, my DIYs really help, so you guys should definitely check them out. So this is my hair completely dried, and I applied a little bit of um, grease in my hair. But other than that, just a little bit of castor oil, and it's completely dried. And as you see, my curls are definitely clunked together. You can do this with a twist out and leave this conditioner in your hair doing a twist out. Um, it works great too. So please let me know what other videos you would like to see of mine. And I will show you. Look at the length. So I am almost ready for a haircut. But for right now, I think I'll just go ahead and get that waist length hair length. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Please subscribe to my channel.